Hickman says she just finally stopped crying every day and now this. While she's thankful at the prospect of justice, her heart still hurts for her dad. Like father, like daughter, not only did Nicole and Michael Brinkman look alike, they looked out for each other. I just kind of got used to those uh, text messages every day. Hey, hon, how you doing? Even though the text messages stopped, Nicole did not stop needing her dad's advice. I have, t I have texted him, <laughs> hoping for something back, but it just doesn't come. <laughs> It's been nearly two months since a quiet cul-de-sac flooded with yellow police tape and Nicole's life changed forever. It's been extremely difficult living without him. And as weeks went by, she tried to keep hope while always keeping her dad close to her heart. My coworkers actually got it for me and I wear it every day. Nicole says admittedly learning of an arrest shocked her. Police think Leandre Jennings knocked on Michael's door December 23rd and pulled the trigger. But Nicole says it doesn't make her dad's murder any less of a mystery. I'm incredibly thankful, you know, and I just keep telling everybody we got, we have one down, we have one more to go. She's also thankful for family. Together, they're waiting and hoping for just one more arrest. My biggest support system has been my mom. You know, I can call her any time of the day and she'll be there. It won't be easy, but Nicole will fight for justice. That's just how her father raised her. I have to stay confident and I have to stay hopeful. You know, that's, that's, and I have to stay strong. And Nicole also thanked police for their work and the mayor for reaching out. Again, detectives are still looking for one more suspect. So here is that white newer model Durango seen moments after the crime. Both suspects wore clown masks. Now, if you can help the Brinkman's find closure, call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That number as always is 402-444-STOP.